Natalie McGifford and I am a 2016 Rhythmic Gymnastics Group Olympian. I actually got started in Rhythmic by a little bit of an accident, a little bit of chance. My mom won some raffle tickets at my elementary school fundraiser and they were for free gymnastics lessons. So I <laughs> just wanted to play with the ribbons and so the coach asked my parents if I would try Rhythmic for my second class and they asked me what I thought and I said, yeah. Of course I want to do that. That looks so much more fun. I always loved the Olympics. Like that was something I really valued watching every four years, like waking up to watch the artistic and rhythmic gymnastics. But I didn't actually realize I wanted to be an Olympian until I joined group. And I saw that as an opportunity to become an Olympian. The first time I realized that this is going to be a commitment from the family that Natalie was serious about what she was doing it was probably the second or third year when she started winning consistently. She'd won a regional championship and it didn't show any signs of slowing down. She didn't want to be second. She wanted to be first and in some of the early meets if she didn't win I noticed something different about her. It's not like an aggressive thing or anything. It was just kind of like I could do better, you know, and I'm going to do better. When Natalie was asked to try out for the national team, we left the decision to Natalie. We said, if, if you want to try out, you tell us and we'll figure out how to do it. So in 2015, my team and I were competing at World Championships in Stuttgart, Germany. And we actually didn't know we qualified when we qualified. They announced it in German at the arena. And we got back to our hotel thinking that we were all just going to retire and move on with our lives and go to school or, you know, figure out what's next in life. And then we went on Facebook and on a Rhythmic Gymnastics fan page, they had listed the teams that had qualified. And we're like, why are we on the list? <laughs> like, what is USA doing there? And so then we called our parents to confirm and they're like, yeah, you qualified. Like, why were you guys crying and hugging and kissing at the kissing cry? And we were just so happy with our performance. I think I had a really hard time accepting that I was at the Olympics. And even after the Olympics, it took me a few years to remember like, oh yeah, I'm an Olympian. Like that's something that lasts forever. Like I don't think I ever caught up with the fact that it happened and it was over. I think the fellowship is great just because it offered me a lot of opportunities that I never thought I would have and it kind of gave me streamlined entrance into the workforce that I thought I would have a really hard time joining in the first place. When Natalie got the fellowship, we could see it opened up a whole realm of possibilities for her. When we found that she'd been hired full time in LA 28, that was then, I mean, to me, a testament to she was doing the same thing that she did when she trained. She was doing the best she could. She was following through. She was making friends along the way and she was learning. So even though I was surprised, in one sense I wasn't. It seemed as though it was a normal extension for what Natalie does and is as a person.